you don't know, why did you create MDNA? Well, um, one of the main reasons was, be, it's true, I mean, I have traveled the world, I've had a very long career, thank God, and I feel very blessed about that, um, but I have had access to every kind of product, every kind of special treatment, every kind of spa, every, um, every miraculous <laughs> mask. Sometimes when I would do um, shows, rehearsals, sound checks, film things at sound checks, it's like you get up in the morning, you work out, you wash your face. Then you put a little bit of makeup on because you have to go to the sound check and there's going to be cameras there. And then you have to wash your face again. And then you have to put, and then you have to put more makeup on for the show. And you're basically being baked in a microwave on stage. <laughs> With the light. And then you finish the show and you've sweated all your makeup into your pores. So your face is undergoing a kind of brutal, yeah. kind of your poor violent just <laughs> abuse yeah. all day long. And I'm like, wait, I, what can I do to protect myself? Like you say, you're obsessed with hydration, right? Mm -hmm. Obsessed. Me too. So I, I, I hooked up with this Japanese com company called MTG, who are very, very advanced in the area of, of technology and the physics and science of beauty. And they went, so we talked about a mask, a clay mask, and they discovered this clay mask in Montecatini. And in, this, in the discovery of this mask, we discover these thermal waters. Thermal waters that you can't find anywhere in the world. This, this spa has been around for thousands of years. It's kind of one of those cure-all waters. Because of the springs. healing properties The healing water. properties of the water. And I went there, and I experienced them also. And, and I said, OK, what, you know, how can we make it so that nobody else can have these waters? <laughs> I want these waters I really want myself. these waters myself. Yes. <laughs> These thermal waters, which I call the golden waters of beauty, um, are only in, in the skincare line. That's the sort of the hero ingredient of the product. And it is literally the magical ingredient. I want to ingredient. drink these waters. I want to drink the waters, too. I want, I to, want to take to a bath in, in the water. water. Yeah. <laughs> you should bottle this water as well. Well, I am. That's what the rose mist is. In it's fact, full of this, this magical water? water? Yeah. That's why you're spraying it all day long. It's a magical yes. water spray. Yes. <laughs> you want some? Yes. Nothing better than like a mix. Spray it everywhere. <laughs> I love fans so it missed out on everybody else. all the powder just like soak in. Yes. So I'm so excited. <laughs> it's good there too. Kim, what are you launching? Um, next I have a collab with my makeup artist um, of 10 years that we've worked together, Mario. Um, we have a really cute collection coming out, something that we've worked on for a long time. It's a new product line with the winner of this show, Glam Masters, that she's the judge on, and I'm executive producing the show. So with KKW Beauty, we have a collab with the winner. Um, so that's another project that do I you just have. Do you start from scratch with the winner? Start from scratch. So can it be whatever they want? or Whatever they want. Really? really? Yeah. I love oh, to have cool. a hand on the packaging. It's completely their that's collection cool. and what they want. Mm -hmm. And it has to have an overall KKW Beauty feel of just like simple and clean and packaging wise. Mm -hmm. All the contestants are so talented and have such a skill um, and really unique skills. So that's really exciting that it's gonna be something really different for KKW Beauty. Cool. What about you, Madonna? I have something called reinvention cream. Okay, so everybody, I, I know I'm, I'm synonymous with the word reinvention, which is why I called the cream reinvention, but there's a reason for it. And, and the, um, the, main, the main ingredient in this cream is from something called the resurrection plant. Oh my gosh, I just yeah. love where all these things come yeah. from. Magical there's waters, a, the resurrection yeah. plant. Yeah, vision but you in the movie Tangled. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen it? Yes. The golden plant. Yes. <laughs> we need to find that. that. <laughs> this is like that plant. The thermal waters come from Maggiacatini, Italy. And that's in Tuscany. And that's very close to where my father's from. So I have DNA in my, DNA, in my mDNA. So wow. there's, a, there's an Italian okay. connection to where the spa is, where the volcanic clay comes from, where the thermal waters come from, that's in the product, which is close to me. I like, I like to have connect those connections. Yeah. But what's in the, the reinvention cream is um, is a flower, is this plant called the resurrection plant, which is primarily found in Africa. They can go for months, even years, without any water or moisture at all. And they kind of go in on themselves, and they sort of look like not very attractive shrubs, which is how I look in the morning when I wake up. But then you just drop a few drops of moisture on them, and they, they like, like time caption, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. like that, they open up. 
a flower comes out of it and they reinvent themselves and that is why they're called the resurrection wow. plant and that's how we keep going yeah. we just we're resilient and I love the connection to the plant the connection to Africa and then finally um, the a portion of the proceeds from all the sales will go back to raising Malawi four of my children are, are Malawian and I've been busy doing a lot of philanthropic work there, building schools and building hospitals. And so the, the profits will go to healthcare and, and primarily education. So it, it all goes full circle. That's amazing. Yeah. What was the turning point for you, Kim, that made you decide you wanted to take charge and start your own beauty line? There's something really different when you can have full control and mm -hmm. you can really do what you want to do yeah. packaging wise mm -hmm. and formula wise and product wise and launch and photo shoot. I mean, when you have control over everything, there's nothing better and nothing more inspiring and fulfilling. I love the whole process of it. I feel like it's been a long time coming doing my own line and I'm just, I'm really happy that I can take my time and make sure everything's right. You both have changed and evolved your makeup routine and looks over the years. Looking back, what are some looks that you would never wear again? You would just never wear now? None. <laughs> I, like, I like a lot of them. I, I don't, and I don't, they're like my children, so I don't mm -hmm. like to play favorites. Yeah. So. I would feel the same way if I yeah. were you, honestly. Do you have a look that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna do that one again. Like all the time, maybe just more bad <laughs> angles or like lighting, daylighting. I should just never go out in the daylight. <laughs> it really is, it's so oh, bad. I just think people should be more thoughtful and just have really good lights on their phones. Yeah, all the time. And only I take pictures from the front. The back then. Yeah. By the side. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and below, so we're tall. Yeah. Like, be generous, people. Be thoughtful. <laughs> okay, we have a couple questions that some people submitted earlier. Um, one is, and this goes to both of you, what's the best skincare advice you've ever received and or have given? I mean, best skincare advice really is, uh, I, I, that I've always received and always paid attention to is to stay out of the sun. Mine is just moisturizing. And hy hydration, yeah. Yeah, people always come to me for like... What is your favorite beauty advice to give? Well, I love like analyzing someone's face and like going with them to a doctor and be like, wait, a little Botox here, a little drop I love it, you like, love it! Like that kind of advice. Okay. Like people write me, I will not say who, but like people, some people in the business, people that I've never even met before, will text me and say, hey, this is so and so, I heard you give the best advice, can you look <laughs> oh at my God. pictures and tell wow. me what you think That's I should do? That's a big do. responsibility. Yeah. It is such an honor to get to be on the stage with both of you. I mean, the most popular women in the world are right here on the stage in front of you guys. Like the most, like give it up for their icon status. <laughs> <laughs>